we're going to find the derivative of f at t. So we're going to find f prime t uh, using first principle. Our first principle formula is the limit of h as it approaches 0 for f at a plus h minus f at a divided by h. Okay. We're now going to plug in limit of h as it approaches 0. So the function is a root. So we're looking for the root of t plus h. t is our a value minus the root of t, all divided by h. Okay. So now that we have that, again, we're trying to simplify. Remember, our goal is to get rid of that h on the bottom if we can. So we're going to have to rationalize this function. So we're going to be multiplying by root t plus h plus root t. I'm going to do that to the top and bottom of the fraction. Again, root t plus h plus root t. On the top of our fraction, it's going to help us rationalize this expression. So we're going to be left with t plus h minus t divided by. And instead of distributing that h, we're just going to keep it to the outside. t plus h plus root t. OK. Uh, you're quickly going to notice we have t, negative t. Those will cancel out or create a 0. And then our h will be the only thing left on top. And we're going to use that to cancel out our h at the bottom. So our limit of h as it approaches 0 is 1 over root t plus h plus root t. OK? We have these values now. Because our h or our bottom of a fraction is no longer going to be is no longer going to be zero on the bottom, so will not be undetermined. We can now take our value of zero or approximately zero and plug it in for our h. Okay. Which means our limit is now going to be one over root t. And because that's 0, t plus h is just t plus root t. And what's root t plus root t? Anyone know? You can just write it as 2 root t. Okay. Same idea. We've created an equation at the end. The only difference is we use the root to solve this function. 